Somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. That's the answer. This is the Appleton Oak. I'm Mason Quinn. Guys, we have one tonight that you were all requesting for us to do, and it's Matthew McConaughey and Christopher Nolan's uh, space epic, Interstellar. <laughs> now, this was one that it looked like a lot of fun. We had to jump into it. I kind of didn't really dig the genre when I saw it. I really did like Christopher Nolan's Batman series, but I, I kind of fell off after that a little bit. So I'm really excited because you guys have not been wrong once in your requests for us. So I'm pumped for this. I know nothing about this. I don't even remember when it was in the theaters. When you said the name, I kept thinking the Sandra Bullock George Clooney movie, <laughs> which is gravity. So totally different than what I was thinking, but who knows? This should be good. You guys never fail. And you know what? I'm ready, willing, and able. Look at the merch. Ready, willing, and able to watch this movie. You guys I know encourage you him. You somebody, know somebody got this guy an actual shirt. Uh, anyhow, Thank you. So, uh, you can have it too. So I, I did see this movie. I'm going to put an asterisk next to it. <laughs> so I really like Matthew McConaughey. Uh, 2014, eight years ago. I went and saw it in the theater, and I fell asleep in the theater. Fell um, asleep. I fell asleep. So I have vague... I don't want to do any spoilers for these guys. So I have vague recollections of the beginning, and I woke up in the middle of, like, some very, like, WTF-like parts. <laughs> um, and then, of course, there was some memes. But I have, like I said, I have, um, <laughs> I have... I have never seen the entire movie <laughs> um, I, I gotta be honest like the, the parts that I did see like and look I've there there was in 2014 I'm traveling all over the world sleep is is, is in short supply so um, you know it was probably a much needed nap but I, I do recall like I wasn't really that into it you know and of course now it's he's got, just you know, not that into got, you <laughs> it's got really good ratings so I'm hoping watching it um, and I can assure you that I'll be awake for the entire movie here. Otherwise, Andrew will throw things at me. Yeah. Um, but I'm hoping I enjoy it. Is that eraser? Around, <laughs> from what I, then from what I recall, the initial time. Well, so we're all ready to get to it. I think you are too. So let's go. That's always good to hear. <laughs> nah, what does that this. look like? A blackbird? Uh. Or a, bo a bomber, excuse me, a stealth bomber. Sorry, Barb. Go back to bed. I thought you were the ghost. Yeah, no such thing as ghosts, babe. Grandpa says no. you can get ghosts. Yeah, well, maybe that's because Grandpa's a little too close to me and one himself. <laughs> all right, all <laughs> right, all right. It's Matthew. The we had died. And we still had corn. We had acres of corn. Just constant, just that steady blow of dirt. It's cool how it's like uh, documentary style a little bit. Oh. Yeah. Glasses or cups, whatever it was, upside down. Oh, my Jesus, God. in the house? Take a leg. Get a move on. Ah, John Lithgow. Oh, nice. God, he is so good in everything. He was awesome in Cliffhanger. <laughs> It's like his uh, finest work. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, you could have at least said Footloose. You know, <laughs> I, no, I don't Thank like you, dancing. Answer. Thank you, answer. I'm just telling you that you're afraid of something goes. No, you got to go further. You got to record the facts, analyze, get to the how and the why, then present your conclusions. <laughs> All right. All right. Scientific approach. No, no. Come on, dust storm. Nelson's torching his whole crop. They're saying it's the last harvest for okra ever. Well, you'd be nice to that Miss Hanley. She's single. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Repopulating the earth. Start pulling your way, young. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not always going to be here to help you. What's going on, Murph? Why did you and Mom name me after something that's bad? Murphy's Law. Now, Murphy's Law doesn't mean that something bad will happen. What it means is that whatever can happen will happen. And that sounds just fine with us. Uh, she's Whoa. not buying it. Whoa. Ooh, we got drones? Okay. Oh, <laughs> All right, then. What happened to the corn? Going off road. Indian Air Force drone. Solar cells can power an entire corn. Bastard Tom, I'm losing it. He's putting his seatbelt on. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. 
Oh, boom. Oh, barbed wire fence. Not good. I almost got him. Don't stop. Don't stop. Oh, Dad. Dude. No! Ooh, that's cutting it real close. We lost it. No, we didn't. So he got control of it with a with a little a like little mouse. Yeah, he does. Little he pink pad. Oh my god! The pink pad, a touch pad, whatever. It is. What he just took over the government's drone? Yes, yeah, right. I guess. Layer down right there at the edge of the reservoir. How long do you think he's been up there? Well, Delhi missing control oh. went down same as ours ten years ago. <laughs> so what? nobody's gonna be looking for it. Why'd he come down so long? Hey, the sun cooked its brain, or it was looking for something. Oh, maybe some kind of signal? Can't we just let it go? I think needs to learn how to adapt, Murph, like the rest of us. Right, so obviously some crazy stuff going on with the world it's... here. That's a surveillance drone with outstanding solar cells. It's Indian. We got Tom's scores back. He's going to make an excellent farmer. University only takes a handful. They don't really have the resources. I still pay my taxes. And where, where's that money going? There's no more armies. No, it doesn't go to the university. Huh. You ruling my son out for college now? Tom's score simply isn't high enough. Right now, we don't need more engineers. We didn't run out of television screens and planes. We ran out of food. The world needs farmers. Okay. Good farmers like you and Tom. Uneducated farmers. Maybe your grandkids will get to be educated. We'll be down here, sir. Murph is a great kid. She's really bright, but she's been having a little trouble lately. Yeah, it's one of my old textbooks. It's an old federal textbook. We've replaced them with the corrected versions. Ah, corrected. Oh. Explaining how the Apollo missions were fake to bankrupt the Soviet Union. Buzz Aldrin would have some words for you. You don't believe we went to the moon? I believe it was a brilliant piece of propaganda that the Soviets bankrupted themselves, pouring resources into rockets and other useless machines. We need to teach our kids about this planet, not tales of leaving it. And one of those useless machines they used to make was called an MRI. And if we had any of those left, the doctors would have been able to find the cyst in my wife's brain before she died instead of afterwards. She was always the, the calmer one. <sighs> oh. Murph got into a fist fight with several of her classmates over this Apollo nonsense. Yeah, you know what? Um, there's a game tomorrow night. I think I'll take her to that. Basically proud of her for throwing down over, <laughs> over the Apollo yep. is what he's saying. So is there literally not enough people to run the combines? I mean... One by one, they've been peeling off the fields and heading over. Something's interfering with the compass. Magnetism, or some such. Oh, we got books on the floor. Nothing special about which book. I've been working on it. I count the spaces. Why? In case the ghost is trying to communicate. I'm trying Morse. Dots and dashes used. Oh, I know what Morse code is, but I just don't think your bookshelf's trying to talk to you. Man, the house was built on magnetic ore. We've just seen this the first time we switched on this reactor. I hear your meeting at the school didn't go so well. Oh, it's like we've forgotten who we are at home. When I was a kid, it felt like they made something new every day. But six billion people. 85% of you gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> and Tom will do just fine. You're the one who doesn't belong. Born 40 years too late or 40 years too early. My daughter knew it. God bless her. And your kids know it, especially Murph. You were good at something, and you never got a chance to do anything with it. You didn't expect this jerk that was giving you this food to turn on you like that and destroy you. This, cause this happened about 1.30 when that thing came off the top of the canyon. Popcorn at a ball game is unnatural. School says you're going to follow my footsteps. You hate Barn and Dad. <laughs> he just <laughs> smiles. Oh, that how you feel about it. I don't like our farm. Whoa, that's a Ooh. huge dust storm. Let's get out here. They're not even like in a hurry. It's like it, it's happened like many yeah. It times seems before. like this must happen a lot. Uh, gang, let's mask up. Tom, Murph, yep. Dick. I don't even see where you're going. <laughs> Murph, Tom, you guys shut your windows? Murph! Oh, no. 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 No more lions. Look how it's falling like that. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Jeez. 
Oh, has he been trying to figure it out? It's not a ghost. It's gravity. You want to clean that up? <laughs> when you're finished praying to it? <laughs> John Lithgow, you're the God. Man. It's not Morse. Murph, it's binary. Thick is one, thin is zero. Coordinates. Boy, this guy goes from being skeptical yeah, to uh, real jumping quick. all in. That's what's going to happen to Oak when he sees some ghost proof on an Annie cam. <laughs> Grandpa will be home in a while. Tell him I'll call him on the radio. You know she's in the truck, right? I would think she'd be. Ah. Yep. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, you think this is funny? Uh-huh. Oh, he's driving a while. Huh? Yeah, I yeah. mean, okay, plenty of water there, so that's not an issue. Is that drinkable though? Yeah. So know. that's the other thing. Murph, I think this is the end of the road. Step Whoa! Away. Whoa. 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 Oh, we got hit with the taser. How did you find this place? You had the coordinates for this facility marked on your map. Where did you get those coordinates? Where's my daughter? Whoa. Make me take you down again. Sit down. Where did you find those coordinates? Tars. Back down, please. They're old and they're controlling. Oh, yeah. Catwoman herself. Unpredictable. Who are you? Dr. Brand. And I knew Dr. Brand once. He was a professor. What makes you think I'm not? Well, I don't think cute either. And I'm scared for my daughter, and I want her by my side. If you give me that, I'll tell you anything you want to know. Your daughter is fine. It's pretty clear you don't want any visitors. Looks <laughs> like Jesus. a refrigerator <laughs> that walks. <laughs> what the? Looks like a whole government thing. Hey, going no on dust here. in there. <laughs> Lazarus. Hey, we got. Uh, is that Michael Caine? Michael Caine. It sure is. Of. Professor Brand. There Explain to me how you found this facility. I sort of stumbled upon it. We were on a salad run. We came You're sitting the in the best kept secret. Oh, hey. Nobody stumbles in here. Nobody stumbles out. We learned these coordinates from an anomaly. It was gravity. Well, what sort of gravitational anomaly? Yeah, what was this thing? You're not getting any answers from us until I get assurances. Assurances? Yeah. <laughs> Don't you know who we are, Coop? We're NASA. NASA. Same NASA you flew for. We got rockets in the back. Oh, we got rockets. Did we just? Guys, know, we, I gotta be we, honest with you. Like, I don't remember any of this shit. <laughs> Earth's atmosphere is eighty percent nitrogen. We don't even breathe nitrogen. Blight does, and as it thrives, our air gets less and less oxygen. Ooh. The last people to starve will be the first to suffocate. Oh, it's not even just food; it's air. Now you need to tell me. Your plan is to save the world. We're not meant to save the world. We're meant to leave it. Oh, but this thing just keeps the, turn it, taking twists. The, the moon landing was... You sent people out there looking for a new home? The Lazarus missions. There's not a planet in our solar system that can sustain life and the nearest stars over a thousand years away. I and mean, it doesn't even qualify as futile. I can't tell you any more unless you agree to pilot this craft. An hour ago, you didn't even know I was alive. Right, this yeah, is exactly what I'm anywhere. saying. How long will I be gone? Years. I've got kids, Professor. Get out there and save them. Oh, that's heavy. Yeah, that is pretty. Who's they? We started detecting gravitational anomalies almost 50 years ago. In fact, I believe you encountered one yourself. I crashed something, tripped my flyby wire. Out near Saturn, a disturbance of space time appeared 48 years ago and it leads where another galaxy a wormhole is not a naturally occurring phenomenon someone placed it there and oh whoever God. they are <laughs> this is getting real trippy their mission was to assess their world and if it showed potential and okay, what if the world didn't show promise hence the bravery oh, oh, oh it's a one-way trip data transmission back through the wormhole is rudimentary Simple binary pings on an annual basis give us some clue as to which worlds have potential. So if we find a home... Then what? Then what? Yeah, yeah. exactly. You gonna load everybody up into rockets? Suddenly we knew that harnessing gravity was real. We started building this station. Problem is gravity. How to get a viable amount of human life off the planet. Yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. 
over 5,000 fertilized oh, eggs, weighing in at just under 900 kilos. So with equipment on board, we incubate the first 10. With surrogacy, the growth becomes exponential. Now, what about the people here? You just, you give up on them? That's why plan A is a lot more fun. Okay. Well, How far have you got? A, oh, we, need, uh, we need to get Matt Damon yeah. in from Google Hunt. Yes, we do. Find us a new home. And by the time you return, I will have solved the problem of gravity. Can you imagine that? Like, you're just going to leave your kids at this age forever to try to find a new world. <sighs> That's tough. Go. If you're leaving, just go. This world was never enough for you, was it, Coop? Don't trust the right thing done for the wrong reason. This world's a treasure, Donald. It's been telling us to leave for a while now. Tom will be all right, but you got to make things right with Murph. Without making promises you don't know you can keep. What's so this that? is it, the guy, the random farmer oh, gee, who drove into that. the space station is going to save the planet? Uh, well, he was a former, uh, he was a former I, I know, NASA pilot. I know, but... You don't own space. Nice it does. <laughs> Why do you think he was having that nightmare about the plane crash at the beginning? Your mom, she said something to me I never quite understood. We're just here to be memories for our kids. Oh... I think I now understand what you meant. Once you're a parent, you're the ghost of your children's future. I can't be your ghost right now. I need to exist. Murph, they chose me. You saw it. You're the one who led me to them. I figured out the message. Stay. It says stay, Dad. You're not listening. It says stay. One for you. One for me. Time's going to change for me. And it's going to run more slowly. Time will run differently for us. Yeah, we might even be the same age. You and me. <sighs> that's not that, going to help. That's not what she wanted to hear. Yep, that wasn't the best thing to say. No there. idea. Oh! I don't, don't, mind, don't make me leave like this. Come on, Murph. Hey, I love you. I love you forever. And I'm coming back. Imagine the weight on your shoulders yeah. of knowing, like, hey, go save the world. Yeah. And if it's for your kids, how can you not go out and do it? Well, you know, right. like, I can stay the, with my kids, but there's no future for them, or I can you, leave them now. Yep. Oh, and, and there's a book again. You know, and at the same time, she lost her mom already, and now her dad's just going to leave? Like, trouble safe, yeah. Hey, can I use your truck while you're gone? I mean, your truck. Look after my kids now. Can, can I get a truck for my kid out of this deal, <laughs> maybe? Yeah. <laughs> maybe a brand new one? Yeah. Not this hunk of junk. Well, I don't know. They said, nah, they, haven't mind. Been, been... they said they haven't been making machines. Oh, he, he checked to see if she came in. Nine. Oh, dude. Six. Three. Two. Prepare for stage one separation. He's got the refrigerator with him. Yeah, the... All feeds going manual. Going manual. Deactivate probe heater one and two and three. Though it's the same ship he was in before in the beginning of the movie. Oh, well, there's no sound in space. Oh. So. I saw the Great that's, Lakes that's, there for a minute. That's kind of neat that they do that. We're going to be spending a lot of time together. We should learn to talk. And we're not to. You're coming up on the endurance. 12 minutes I out. I trust this guy. He looks like a villain, doesn't he? He's Isn't he always like a villain? Yeah, this is where you can't really fuck up. Oh. Nice and easy, Doyle. Nice and easy. Target locked? Target locked. Well done. Okay, helmets on. Good job. Communication with ring module active. Oh, wow. Was that all dust she saw going across the planet? Well, we got another refrigerator. All right, we're all set. Oh, boy. No, there's two of them. Yeah. They're spinning pretty yeah. good, huh? Yeah. Oh, is that to give them gravity? 30% of spin. 1G. How's gravity treating you back yeah. there? Romley? Hey, you okay? Yeah. He's gonna puke. Oh, God. Silence. It looks good for your trajectory. We've calculated two years to Saturn. Oh, two years to Saturn? Yeah. <sighs> See, the one dude had a Capri Sun. <laughs> well, that's not even to get to the wormhole. That's... Or no, no I'm that's sorry, just the, that's the just to get to was. that's just to get to Saturn, yeah, yeah, where the wormhole is. Yeah. But then whatever they do it's after the wormhole, years. who knows what time? Yeah, how time's gonna affect it? 
two years just to get to Saturn. Yeah. Perfect planet. We are not going to find another one like her. Oh, they're going to, like, to hibernate? Yeah, like cryo-freeze, like demolition man. Laura started a biology program. Yeah. Hey, are you claustrophobic? <laughs> no, not at all. I'm good. Jeez. Yeah, that had to be fun for him to watch. <laughs> Guitars? Let's go with that trajectory one more time. Eight months to Mars. Counter-orbital slingshot around. 14 months to Saturn. Nothing has changed on that. Slingshot? Oh, yeah, because they're going to use the gravity to make it go yeah. faster. Yeah. Dad's about to go down for the long nap. The Earth looks amazing from here. Can't see any of the dust. I really hope you guys are doing, doing great. Know that I love you. <clears throat> Hello, Murph. Why are you in my dad's truck? He wanted me to bring it for your brother. He sent you a message. Murph is a bright spark. She's already making fools of her teachers. Maybe she should come and make a fool out of you. <laughs> the next time you hear from Cooper, they'll be coming up on Saturn. Oh, Hope you're safe up there. I asked Murph to say hi. She's as stubborn as her old man. Oh, oh man. He's from the uh, relay bro. He was in orbit around the wormhole. We would receive images from the other side of the foreign galaxy. So we've got a pretty good idea what we're going to find on the other side, huh? Navigationally. Yeah. Still don't trust that guy. Can we stop the spinner because we're close enough to see it now? There's one of the guys sleeping. Yeah, and that, that, that's it. That's oh. the wormhole. God, how scared would you be right now heading towards, just in the middle of it, outer space, heading towards a wormhole? No idea where it's going to go. So a wormhole bends space like this, so you can take a shortcut through a higher dimension. What's a circle in three dimensions? Yes, sure. Sphere. Exactly. I was going to say Spherical. cube. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Oh, that oh, is geez. that is freaking well, cool. That's going to be a hard pass for me. <laughs> yeah. Got to save the, save the world. Saving the world for my kid. Yeah, saving just think of it that way, you kid. selfish bastard. <laughs> saving the world for my kid. <laughs> saving the world for my oh, kid. God, look at here. that. You don't hey, know what's going to happen. You know, they're ready, willing, and able. Oh, my God. They're in it. They're in it. Everybody ready to say goodbye to our solar system? Oh, my just God. It looks so dip cool. Dip into it. Whoa. What that. the shit is this? They see Doctor Strange on one. Is it? That's why. <laughs> He's got the eight arms. <laughs> What's she seeing? No, no. Oh, it's inside the ship. Oh, look at her hand. Oh my God. We made it. What was that? First handshake. We're here. Started messing with the space-time continuum is what started happening. Point. Never good. You, you think know. that ship has a Mr. Fusion on it? Two objects can't occupy the same space. You saw what happens in Time Cop when you do that. I did. Oh, my God. It wasn't you good. Ba you can't base it on Time Cop. I'm sorry. It's the most realistic movie made about it's it. That has zero credibility. Miller's side has kept pinging thumbs up, as has Dr. Mann's. Edmonds went down three years ago. But Miller still looks good, though, right? Because she's coming up fast. Mm -hmm. The planet is much closer to Gargantua than we thought. Gargantua? It's what we're calling them, the black hole. Miller's and Dr. Mann's planets both orbit it. A black hole that big has a huge gravitational pull. So you miss it, you're... F yeah. Look, I, I could swing around that neutron and start a decelerate. No, 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 it's not that. Gravity on that planet will slow our clock compared to Earth's. Well, every hour we spend on that planet will be seven years back on Earth. Seven Holy years? Holy oh, wow. shit. You can't just think about your family. Now you have to think bigger than that, all right? I am thinking about my family and millions of other families. Okay, plan A does not work if the people on Earth are dead by the time we pull it off. We need to think about time as a resource, just like oxygen and food going down there's going to cost us. We take a wider orbit around Gargantua, parallel with Miller's planet outside of this time shift to here. Then we take the Ranger down, we get Miller, we get her samples. We're in, we're out, we lose a little fuel, but we save a whole lot of time. That'll work. Tars factor in orbit Gargantua. Conserve fuel. Minimize thrusting, but make sure we stay in range of Miller's planet. You got it? All right, so how, how much time they going to try to spend down here? A couple of minutes? He's He's got to be in and out, yeah. Um, are you reading these forces? Unbelievable. A literal heart of darkness. Oh, what a, wow. We could just see the collapsed star inside. We can't get anything from it. Nothing escapes that horizon. Not even light. Oh, wow. Goodbye, so Ranger. Cool looking. I mean, that guy's going to be up there by himself with just a robot. Super, too damn fast. I got this. Ugh. All 
right, they're in the planet. A lot of water. There's water. I'm gonna spiral down on top of it. Everybody hang on. Oh, so it's not that deep. Seven years per hour here. Let's make it count. Jesus, that's just crazy. Yeah, just just that door going down is like a couple days. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. 130% Earth gravity. There's nothing here. Should be right here. Oh. Uh, Could be. Well, hurry up, pack up, yep, get, get out, out of there. Ten minutes, so about a just about a year and a couple of months has gone by. Yeah. Where's the mountains? Those aren't mountains. The waves. Oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Holy, Holy shit. Boy. Oh boy, that was right on top of ya. Jeez. Holy shit. We're not leaving without your data. Get your ass back to the ranger now. Oh, that thing looks heavy. Oh, Jesus, it's never gonna work. Get back here now. Well, that's an efficient way to move, I guess. Get up, Brad. Holy shit. Well, I think it's oh, moving. now it can move. Yeah. That's way faster than the wheel. Oh, you guys oh, got to get out of here Jesus. now. No. Oh. The engines are flooded. Holy shit. That's yeah. a lot of water. A lot, a lot. There's no way the other dude made it. No, no way. I don't oh, think he's hanging on the wow. outside. I told you to leave me. And I told you. Why did you leave me? Back here. The difference is one of us was thinking about the mission, Brad. Right? you were thinking about getting home. Hey, seven hours. Forty-five to an hour. Oh, jeez, an hour. It's oh. gonna be seven years. What's this gonna cost us, Brad? Decades. <sighs> oh, decades. Wow. What happened to Miller? Judging by the wreckage, she was broken up by a wave soon after impact. On this planet's time, she landed hours ago. She, she probably just died minutes ago. Oh, oh they just missed it. Is there any possibility? I don't know if some, some clever way we can maybe, I don't know, jump in a, in a black hole. Came back to years. Time is relative, okay? It can't run backwards. The only thing that can move across dimensions like time is gravity. The beings that led us here. They communicate. Could they be talking to us from the future? They are beings of five dimensions. The Cooper, I screwed up. I'm sorry, but you knew about relativity. My daughter is 10 years old. When you become a parent, one thing comes really clear, and that's that you want to make sure your children feel safe. And it rolls out down a 10-year-old. The world ended. Cooper, how long for the engine's case? A minute or two. Oh, we don't have it. No, oh, not oh, again. Another one. There we All go. All right, there you go. Hit it. Go, 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 go. Get the hell out of there. Okay, so that planet sucked. Yeah. Oh, there he is. I've waited years. Oh. By now, it must be. It's 23 years. Oh. 23 years they were down there? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There's nothing here for us. Why did you sleep? I stopped believing you were coming back. I learned what I could from the black hole. Oh, my God. This is so d depressing, dude. Yeah, it is. Messages span 23 years. Hey, Dad. I finished second in school. This curl still giving me C, so pulled me down, but yeah, the second's not bad. Oh. So he so he came along. They said he was gonna be a farmer. Mm -hmm. I met another girl, Dad. I really think this is the one. Her name's Lois. Sat right there. Murphy stole Grandpa's car. She crashed it. Oh, she <laughs> said, oh. oh man. Hey, Casey hey, Affleck. That Casey Affleck, yeah. His name's Jesse. I kinda wanted to call him Coop, but Lois says, uh, maybe next time. Hmm. What the hell says he's already earned the great part, so he just leaves it at that. Oh, say bye bye, Grandpa. Bye bye, Grandpa. Okay. Sorry, it's been a while. It's, uh, oh, it's Jesse and all. Oh, Grandpa died last week. 
Orph was there at the funeral, and uh, we don't see her that much, but she came for that. All these messages are just... Lois says that uh, I have to uh, let you go. Let you go. Couldn't for him. This has been a matter of hours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he hasn't been able to send him a message in 23 years. Oh, Jessica. Justin. Hey, Dad. You son of a bitch. I never made one of these when you were still responding because I was so mad at you for leaving. But today is my birthday. And it's a special one because you told me. Oh, that's right. You once told me that when you came back, we might be the same age. And today I'm the age you were when you left. <laughs> this would be a real good time for you to come back. I didn't mean to intrude. Oh, she's, she's working there now. I'm glad you've started. I just had something I needed to get out. I'm not sure what I'm more afraid of. Them never coming back or coming back to find we've failed. Then let's succeed. Whether or not we crack equation before I kick the bucket. I'm not afraid of death. I'm afraid of time. <laughs> For years we've been trying to solve the equation without changing the underlying assumption about time. Each iteration is an attempt to prove its own proof. We've been trying to finish it with one arm. No, with both arms tied behind your back. And I don't understand why. Can we take this point up at another time? I want to talk to my daughter. Wait, what? Tars kept the endurance. The trip took years longer than we anticipated. No longer have the fuel to visit both prospects, so we just choose. No, you gotta no. flip a coin. Cooper, this is my field. I really believe Edmonds is the better prospect. Why? Gargantua. Look at Miller's planet. Hydrocarbons, organics, yes, but no life. Sterile. Why the same thing on man's? Because of the black hole. Edmonds' data is more promising. We should vote. Well, if we're going to vote, there's something you should know. He has a right to know. That has nothing to do with it. She's in love with Wolf Edmonds. Is that true? Yes. Oh, she wants to go find her boyfriend. I'm drawn across the universe to someone I haven't seen in a decade who I know is probably dead. Love is the one thing we're capable of perceiving that transcends dimensions of time and space. Maybe we should trust that, even if we can't understand it yet. The tiniest possibility of seeing Wolf again excites me. That doesn't mean I'm wrong. It might. Tars, chart a course for Dr. Mand. Oh, that decision's been made. Yeah, this is their last chance. Corn, cornbread, corn. Yeah, corn, everything. Yeah. Too many memories. Oh, we might have something for that. Thank you. Oh, he named his oh, yeah, son, son for his dad. Yeah, obviously. I was going to say, I think their lungs would be shot from was, all that dust. I have a friend who could look at his lung. Oh, that was look like she already knows. Because remember, he said that that would be the last generation to be able to live on Earth. Mm -hmm. This is friggin' depressing, Oak. You were right. Jeez. Amelia, I'm sorry. You were just being objective. No, this wasn't a personal decision. If you're wrong, you will have a very personal decision to make. Strike out on man's planet, and we'll have to decide whether to return home or push on to Edmonds with plan B. Starting a colony could save us from extinction. You might have to decide between seeing your children again and the future of the human race. I trust you'll be as objective then. Ouch. Whoa. 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 Calm down. Easy. You haven't seen this dude for 10 years. <laughs> He might have moved on. He might have met some green alien yeah. girl. You don't know. Hey, it's Topher. I'll finish what you started. Good, good. I, I wanted you to let your brother would come back and forgive me both. There's nothing to forgive. I, I lied, Murph. There, there was no need for you to come back. No way to help us. What kind of bomb are we getting dropped on us right now? It was never gonna work? Did my father know? Did he leave me? To not go. It's not the answer she wanted. Dr. Brand, I'm sorry to tell you that your father died today. I'm very sorry for your loss. Brand, did you know? They told you, right? This was all a sham. So who was watching the message? Nobody? Was it just playing? So and then is the, the robot going to do the 10%? The handful. Where he takes it away? Maybe. 
I don't understand but, any of this. So the whole point was that there never was a, a plan B or whatever. They were never going to get the people off of Earth. There was, was never a, a plan A. It was always plan it was B. Always, yeah, Whoa. it was always populate a planet. With this? With what they had. With these, this group of people? Yeah, and all the eggs that they mm-hmm. had. And the embryos. Where were they going to find surrogates? There's one female. I think they might have covered it. I just don't remember. <laughs> I remember they said surrogates. Yeah, I remember that too. Yeah, that planet looks real promising. Yeah, you'll be good. Oh, you even got a flag. Holy Ooh, shit. American one. Somebody else left the flag there. Wow. Yeah, that's well, that's the the other guy, the other ships. Well, how how fast does time go on this planet? Hurry up. Yeah, we haven't they haven't told us. Matthew Matt Damon! Damon? <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure. I think oh, he's happy. Yeah. Ray, you never learn just how good it can be to see another face. The last time I went to sleep, I didn't even set a waking date. You have literally raised me from the dead. Very little chance of rescuing any others. Tell us about your world. Our world uh, is cold, but undeniably beautiful. The days are 67 hours long, cold. Oh, Jesus. The water is alkali. And the air has too much ammonia in it to breathe for more than just a few minutes. The ammonia gives way to crystalline hydrocarbons. We might be sharing this world. Dr. Brand, Case is relaying a message for you from his home station. Oh, oh, is he no. going to send her the message about her dad? Dr. Brand, I'm sorry to tell you that your father died today. I'm sorry for your loss. He's grown. Brand, did you know? Oh, they... oh no, they're going to find out. This was all a sham. He left us here. Did my father know too? Dad? Oh, Jesus. I just want to know if you left me here to die. Good My father dedicated his whole life to plan A. I have no idea what she's talking about. I do. Amelia, your father solved his equation before I even left. The equation couldn't reconcile relativity with quantum mechanics. You need to see into a black hole. If a black hole is an oyster, then the singularity is the pearl inside. The gravity's so strong, it's always hidden in darkness, behind the horizon. That's why we call it a black hole. Your father had to find another way to save the human race from extinction. Plan B, a colony. It's just life. Unforgivable. He was prepared to destroy his own humanity in order to save the species. He made an incredible sacrifice. No, no, the incredible sacrifice is being made by the people on Earth who are going to die because they're just an arrogance. We are the future. Oh, just look at this place. There's the nowhere hands. to go. Well, people have a right to know. Panic won't help. We just have to keep working, same as ever. Isn't that exactly what Professor Rand was manipulating Rand us to gave do? up on us. I'm still trying to solve this. Yeah, remember, she said he was like doing it with two hands behind it. Yeah. Tied on his back. Yep, she might have a way. I told you about my ghost because I was scared of it. I called it a ghost because it felt, felt like a person who was trying to tell me something. If there's an answer here on Earth, it's back there. I'm running out of time. I have a suggestion for your return journey. I have one last crack at the black hole. It's a chance for the people on Earth. Gargantua is an older spinning black hole. It's what we call a, a gentle singularity. Tidal gravity is so quick that something crossing the horizon fast might survive. A probe, say. After the horizon is a complete mystery. What's to say there isn't some way that the probe can glimpse the singularity and relay the quantum data. If he's equipped to transmit every form of energy that can pull. Mm-hmm. I'm going to need TOS to remove and adapt some components from Kip. Dr. Man, we need to find three secure sites. One for Brain's lab, two for Habit. But you're going to need a long-range transmitter. Got it. TOS, 32 hours, yeah? Roger that, Cooper. A mission such as ours could certainly use an extra engineer. All right, what are we going to find here? Mom, let's be playing here. I don't touch your stuff. Our survival oh, instinct is our single greatest source of inspiration. Mars, what's taking so long? Professor, I am having trouble completing the boot up. What's going on here? What the hell's he doing? Oh, what, what the, the sh- shit? Why is Matt Damon an asshole? What are you doing? I'm sorry. I can't let you leave with that shit. Once the others. Realize what this place isn't. We cannot survive here. Ah. Oh. What the oh. hell is going on here? You have a responsibility. Oh, oh wow. wow. Dad didn't raise you to be this dumb Tom. Dad didn't raise me. Grandpa did. He's buried out back with Mom and Jesse. You think all the data. 
What is everybody gonna lie in this movie? Well, he kidding. faked the data. There's no service. No, but I knew the day that I arrived here, this place had nothing. So he lied? Yeah. I knew that if I just pressed that button, then somebody would come and save me. Oh, he's selfish. Dude, are you kidding? Oh my, oh my God. God. So he lied about the, the planet. livability of the yeah. planet just so people would come, come get him. Come get him. Listen, if you're not going to go, let your family go. Nobody's going with you. You're going to wait for your next kid to die. Oh, dude. Oh. Get out. The performance these two did just mm. in those couple of minutes is incredible. No. Oh, oh no, he's going to break the glass. <laughs> the hell is he doing you know I, I don't think there's any irony that his name is man I'm pretty sure that wasn't by accident i'm here i'm here for you do you see your children they're right there with you I'm really really disliking matt damon she got it oh help help Cooper. help no i'm you People are coming. Hang in there. Don't talk. There's a security lockout, sir. It requires a person to access function. What is she doing? Why is she burning the corn? I think she's burning the family's corn so then they have nothing. I am so confused right now. I second that. Jeez. That's, that's a bit of a jump. This data makes no sense. Oh, he's gonna find the data that he faked. What? Man, it's lying. Whoa! <sighs> what did Matt Bravely. Damon put a self-destruct on it? Bravely! Dr. Brand, Cooper, there's been an explosion. Fuck is he doing? Is, is he gonna try to go home? I have no idea what he's trying to do. Oh I mean, isn't that where all the embryos and stuff were? Let me know in charge aboard. Probably did not survive. Oh, if he takes control of that ship, we're dead. Oh, he's trying to get back to the main ship. Okay, downstairs. You can wait by the car. Oh, she set the fire to get mm -hmm. Casey Affleck out of there to rescue the kids and wife and everything. Dr. Mann, please respond! This shit is intense. I don't know how I was sleeping in the theater. <laughs> I don't know. I must have had a rough... Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't remember a single bit of this. Oh, the watch. watch. Did you see the second hand on the watch? Yeah, it was just kind of tweaking the, there a little second bit. second hand. Okay, so I'm not wrong in thinking that Matt Damon blew up all the embryos and all and everything that was supposed to repopulate. That was, well, right? that was remember that was his like space that was his station. station yeah. yeah, but didn't they bring all the stuff down? I know they were planning camp. I just don't know if they. I don't know if they did or not either. Took it off their ship or not? I don't think so. I think it's all still in the main ship. I repeat, do not attempt docking. I was gonna say, is he thinking about just like jumping yeah, across? He's gonna or? try to do it manually. I think if he misses, that whole ship is gone. Uh huh. Oh, oh he, ain't, he ain't gonna get it. Oh, it. oh, it can't. It's not locking. Hatch lockout disengaged. Dr. Man, do not, I repeat, do not open the hatch. If you open the hatch, the airlock will depressurize. It's gonna, he's gonna blow up the whole friggin' it, thing. It's, not, I don't it's think gonna it, collapse. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say it's gonna implode like yeah. big time. It's gonna implode, or is he just gonna get sucked out like a vacuum cleaner? Like aliens. It's gonna take out the depressurization. So yeah. the, the pressure that's inside gonna, keeping it <gasps> stable, it's gonna turn into a soda can. Yeah. Open the inner hatch. Do not open the inner hatch. This is not about my life. This is about all mankind. There is a moment. That's it. It's done. Everything's gone. That's it. It's done. There's no point in using your fuel to Analyze chase the endurance of spin. He's going to try to dock on that thing? It's not possible. No. It's necessary. No. Oh, oh, that was come the line. On. That was the line. Oh, Jesus. Hey, you ready? Ready. Uh, this is no time for caution. Oh, they almost got it. Oh, my God. That's oh. awesome. 
this music just has yeah. you like I can't you imagine in, yeah. can't imagine seeing this in the theater and falling asleep. Sleep. Come on, guys. Oh, almost oh, got it. Almost got it. It's got it. He's an out. Killing my ninjas. Okay, we're out of orbit. Wow. I can't believe that worked. <sighs> and for our next trick. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to be good. We're heading into Gargantua's pool. Case, take the stick. Roger that. Oh, we're just blowing oxygen. The backup generator kicked in, so the system's stable. They're all good. We don't have enough life support to make it back to Earth, but I think we can scratch our way to Edmund's planet. Well, what about fuel? Not enough. Gargantua, pull us down closer to the horizon. And shot around, just like what they did with Mars. Yep. Once we've gathered enough speed around Gargantua, we use Lander 1, Ranger 2 as rocket boosters to push us out of the black hole's gravity. Once Lander 1 is spent, TARS will detach. Why does TARS have to detach? Oh, well, we have to shed the weight. It's our only chance to save people on Earth. If I can find a way to transmit the quantum data I'll find in there, they might still make it. I just hope there's still someone there to save. So awesome. Oh my god. That is wild. This would be real trippy. I mean, how everything is just bending like that. Just insane. Alright, see if the old slingshot works. Oh, oh. pieces of it falling off. Well, this whole maneuver is gonna cost us 51 years! Cool. 51 years? Goodbye, Tars. Goodbye, Dr. Brent. See you on the other side, Coop. Ranger 2, prepare to detach. What? No! No! Boom's third law. You gotta leave something behind. Oh. 90%. He's gotta leave her. Oh, he's going in too? It's all black. Cars. Uh, you read me over. There's no communication whatsoever. He has no idea where he is right now, does he? Oh, no, obviously no. Oh no. Oh, oh no. it's ripping apart his ship. He's having flashbacks. Oh, that's right. Yeah, in the beginning. He did it did though. He just he, he did. He ejected into the black hole. The eject. gargantuan. Holy shit! Did he eject? Uh, Whoa! What the? <laughs> what the hell? Oh, what is he? F what in the hell? Is that the friggin' bookshelf? Does that look like a bookshelf to you? That is. He's in. The look at. It was him all this time. It is that. Holy cow. <laughs> He was the ghost. Oh, she's remembering the first time. So he left, went through some back hole, and it catapulted him right back, back to, there. to there. And he's been sending her messages the whole time. No! 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 Hold on a tick. Wait a minute. Now where is he? Holy what the shit. Fuck. He's got to find the right the right bookshelf, like time or bookshelf or whatever. Now don't go, don't go, you idiot! Don't go! Mars. Mars. Stay. Oh, that's why she was saying, saying stay. stay. It was for him. Stay! <gasps> Murph, Murph, come on. Come on, Murph. Don't let me leave, Murph. Don't let me leave, Murph. No! 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 It was you. Oh, moms. She's gonna realize it now. You were my ghost. Cooper. Come on, Cooper. Is he imagining this shit? He survived. Somewhere in their fifth dimension, they saved us. But they constructed this three-dimensional space inside their five-dimensional reality to allow you to understand it. You've seen that time is represented here as a physical dimension. Gravity to send a message. Gravity to send a message like... Yep. Gravity can cross the dimensions, including time. Do you have the quantum data? Roger, I have it. Mark, the fire's out! Come on! Even if you communicate it here, she won't understand its significance for years. That's all right. She's already there. Say that again. 
They didn't bring us here to change the past. Who the hell is they? I think it's the humans of the future, thousands of years ahead, figured out how to do this. We brought ourselves. That's it. Oh, that's the dust that was falling Ooh. earlier. Yeah. Oh, remember there were the lines? Yeah, yep, and he figured it out, and that's how they got there in the first place. It's not a ghost. It's gravity. I brought myself here. We're here to communicate with a three-dimensional world. They didn't choose me, they chose her. To save the world. They have access to infinite time and space, but they're not bound by anything. They can't find a specific place in time. They can't communicate. I'm gonna find a way to tell Murph, just like I found this moment. How, Cooper? Love, Tars, love. What are we here to do? Find out, tell her. The watch. We code the data into the movement of the second hand. Oh, that's why it was Whoa. tweaking. It was all like ones and zeros. And, or Morse. He's coming, Murph! I'm coming down! Grab the watch! Is she gonna notice it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Who's coming there? Oh, it's her brother. It's, the, it's yeah, it's the brother, the husband, son. This might this might take a while. Oh, I know what that means. Yeah, yeah it's just, just, I mean, so everybody we, does. Yeah. We have this. Yeah, so we, we got, got it. it. So, I mean, we wrote this, didn't we? Did it work? I think it might have. The bulk beams are closing the tesseract. And not beings. They're us. Cooper people couldn't build this. Not yet. Not in the future. Oh, whoa, whoa, look, yeah, at, look the at the corner, corner there. A civilization that's evolved past the four dimensions we know. Oh, that's crazy. <sighs> Was he getting sent back? That flip. was that was the handshake, and when she reached out, it was him. Oh my God! That when was, she that reached is, out, yeah, her was glove him. was bending. It was him, Mr. Cooper. Nice and easy, Mr. Cooper. Actually, you are 124 years old. <laughs> <laughs> It's a lot of birthdays. Yeah. The Rangers found you with only minutes left in your oxygen supply. Hey, grass. Oh, yeah. That, that'd be, that's as big as it. Whoa. whoa. whoa Wait, what? what? Whoa. All right. Okay. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> Where am I? Cooper Station. <laughs> they named it after him? Currently orbiting Saturn. What a nice you to name it after me. It's, uh, it's named after your daughter. And she's still alive. She'll be here in a couple weeks. We'll have you checked out of here in a couple of days. If if you're following me, you've got a really good situation. That's what what does that mean? You have a really good situation for you. Oh, look at that, the house. Well, my name's Farmer. Oh, that was his kids and 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 uh, his wife. It was Casey Affleck and his wife. I don't care who describes that. Oh yeah, the uh, the machine we found on your Saturn when we found you. Yes. Tars. Oh, is this really what it was like? I was never this clean, slick. Yeah, look at that. Like, no dust all over the... No, they're a totally different world. Family. Yeah, they all came out to see her. She's been in cryosleep for almost two years. Imagine that. Yeah. Being oh. your daughter and you being dead. She has the watch. It's me, Mer. How is she going? People didn't believe me. They thought that I was doing it all myself. I knew who it was. But I knew you'd come back. Because my dad promised me. I'm here now, Mer. No parent should have to watch their own child die. I have my kids here for me now. You go. Where? Brand. She's out there. <laughs> Is he gonna go rescue her, huh? I think so. Holy shit. Oh, well, I'm sure technology is a little bit better. Yeah. You know, at this stage. Whoops. Hey, we're, we're missing a ship. It's kind of looking good, though. <sighs> oh, we never got the big finish in typical Christopher Nolan fashion. All of you were dead on the money. This movie was absolutely incredible. Uh, I mean... 
I didn't understand half of it that was going on. I was asking a lot of questions, which I, I think hope they got guys... some math wrong. I saw yeah. where they didn't carry some of the things yeah. right. Remainders. So I hope you guys are kind to me in the comments if I Promises. missed anything or got anything wrong. But you know what an amazing movie, and you know you don't have to be uh, you know Neil deGrasse Tyson or, or one of these guys <laughs> to to be able to to get the feel of it and. You know, like the first three quarters of it was just like the most depressing thing I've ever seen. There was no chance for humanity. It wasn't going to work. Uh, Brands, uh, his whole plan all along, he didn't think it was ever going to work. Never. Never and gonna it, work. I could be wrong, but like I said, I, I don't know if it made the cut or not, but Matthew McConaughey's character actually had to step into that fifth dimension and communicate with what I think was their future selves uh, to get be. the information to save humanity and you know it was it was a lot easier when bill and ted did this in their excellent adventure i was able to follow that a lot easier <laughs> and a photo but booth. E either way this was this was just so much fun and christopher nolan i should just go see everything you put out i should have zero <laughs> doubts whenever he puts out a movie go see it it doesn't matter what it is because after this i'm just completely sold I've, gosh the emotions in this were absolutely incredible. The first, uh, in the first part of the movie, where Matthew McConaughey's character had to leave his daughter. I mean, that was, that hits like on a whole nother level. And and whoever that young actress was, my God, was she incredible in that role? That was she did just a done job. to a T. And and even the, um, I, I said it, and again, I don't know if it made the cut, but the interaction between uh, Casey Affleck and. Um, and Jessica Chastain, just those couple of minutes in the in the house there, that was incredible as well. So, of course, as you'd expect from a Christopher Nolan movie, top-notch acting. The music was absolutely incredible. Did did Hans Zimmer do the music on this? I mean, if he <laughs> we'll didn't, it was luck. somebody who was equally as good because it was absolutely incredible. So, I, gosh, I don't know how somebody could not enjoy this movie, let alone fall asleep in a movie theater while it was on. So, <laughs> for me, guys, I'm sure we'll talk a little bit more about it. Um, the one thing I do want to hit on is, you know, the idea of, of life and, and how they kind of keep things going. So, not only did Murph crack the code, essentially, to save all of humanity. Was it Hans Zimmer? You called it. Hans Zimmer with the yes, music. Yes, of course it was, was Hans. It of course it he Hans. nails it every single time. Oh, my God. Hans Zimmer's incredible, but I'll make my point here real quick and then move on to the other guys. Uh, the thing I found really fascinating was at the end with Murph. Now, not only did she save essentially all of humanity with Matthew McConaughey's help, she had all of her children around her and, mm. and her children's children. And it's like she, so it she was a source of, of life that way, which was just absolutely beautiful i i loved it completely so it was a source of life in more more than one way absolutely i mean and that was like yes the science and everything was her was her purpose under life but then you saw at the end she actually had a family with that too and and all these new lives that kind of spider web out from that so for me i'm gonna quit talking here and just get to my answer 4.85 out of five answers wow, look at you. interstellar was incredible and gosh you guys are good You've been nailing stuff for us to uh, to do reactions to, so thank wow. you. Hans Zimmer, booby. God, <laughs> the music was great because it, it really encapsulated you, and so the movie really just brought you in there, like, just even with the Matt Damon part, and, like, you're oh, just like, jerk. Just, yeah, what the hell? <laughs> Why do they have to make him be a guy we had to hate? I, I don't I don't like hating Matt Damon. That's uh, that was the worst part of this movie. Oh, he does play um, a good villain. Now. But it, no, like the way he was like talking up there and talking about life and everything, I was like, uh, this I don't seem this doesn't seem right. And now I see that the picture that we have in the background is of uh, of a bad scene where we lose our first crew member on yeah. this. Uh, like, Which I thought he was gonna be the villain. But if there's one word I would describe, it'd be trippy. Because, like, it was awesome them trying playing with the whole dimensional things with the fourth and the fifth dimensions. Because, you know, handcuffs are off. You can do whatever you want, and they did. And so, like, even how they ended up on their planet with a <laughs> the whole, well, it was a centrifuge, right? That's what they said at the beginning when they were when they were there. That was Plan A. Yeah. And so she figured out the Plan A. I loved it from start to finish. Music really had me. Obviously, the acting was great. The directing was amazing because it's Christopher Nolan. Can't do no wrong. And you know, Matthew McConaughey too is just. Oh, 
Oh, those performances. He, he's just, he just can't do anything wrong, you know, sometimes. So I went with four, six, five answers. Oh, that's it? <laughs> yeah, I know. It's a little low seeing what I saw you, but, you know, I definitely was ready, willing, and able to not fall asleep during this. Oak? Wow. Um, you know, when we said we we're going to watch Interstellar, you know, like, hey, have you seen this? I'm like, yeah. you know, when it came out, I vaguely remember seeing it in the theaters. Um, and I really wasn't that excited to watch it again, if I'm being honest. Um, I was kind of like, yeah, we'll, we'll do it again. You know, technically, I guess I went into a theater where it was playing. Um, and it would make sense, like, if I, I honestly, like, if I dozed off during part of it, because, you know, I was traveling, was tired, whatever. I, this movie's a lot to process when you're just, <laughs> when yes. you're, when you're glued to it, it's a lot to process. So I'm trying to be forgiving of myself. Like, imagine, <laughs> even if you, like, you, you miss 10 minutes here, 10 minutes mm. here, 10 minutes there. We had um, ten energy drinks before this. No, and I, I was running myself. I actually, I fell asleep during a Nick Swardson comedy show with my <laughs> girlfriend at the time in 2014 in Las Vegas. I, I used to, I used to run a tough schedule with my full time work, traveling 30 you weekends see my a watch? year, and I still try to have a social life. So uh, those are my excuses for falling asleep. To Forgive this movie. your past self. Yes, I'm forgiving my past self. You know, Going the other, the, fifth the other thing that I think is the biggest difference for me. And I've said this in a handful of movies, and I'll always preface it by I don't ever want to come across preachy or or whatever to people who don't have kids. A lot of my really good friends, in fact, one of my best friends, you know, have no kids. He's, he's perfectly happy that way. <laughs> so I, n I never want to, like, come across like that because before I had my son, I, I honestly I hated when people, oh, wait till you have kids. And you're like, yeah, oh, thanks. Maybe I oh, want to get a dog. And then what, you know? But the, the reality is... And I think anybody with kids will agree with me is that you just you just inherently look at things different. Um, and this movie becomes it's so like I've looked at movies different, you know. Before, look, you know, like if you watch a movie and a kid gets kidnapped, and like it's not like, well, you have to have a you have to you have to be a parent <laughs> to be mad about no. it. No, you can still <laughs> be mad about it. Obviously, it, it would be different. But this was this was. This just hits different, you know. He's, he's he's you know faced with this decision of leaving his kids to try to save them, but you don't know when you're going to be back, and you have to tell your kids if. that you're leaving. Mm -hmm. Like, do you prom? Like he said in the movie, he's like, "Well, I promised her I'd come back." How do you tell a ten year old the world is going to end? Um, and there was so many like parts throughout the course of this movie where like the parent thing hit hard. Like honestly, like it hit really hard when. And uh, I vaguely, vaguely remember this part, but it hit really hard when they like said like an hour down there is seven years mm. on Earth. Yep. Because like as a like you know like as a dad like I mean if let's say he finished whatever and then got back to Earth, you know I mean in your time that's only however long. But as a like a parent, it's like the moments that you miss, you know. Like if, if if you only missed a day or two of your time and then you got back together with him, but you realized you missed 30 years of sports and graduations and all those things, I think that would be really hard. So I can't, like, I can't imagine as a parent having somebody tell you, like, every hour down there is going to be seven years back on Earth. And now, mind you, the whole time they're out there, they have no idea if they're even going to get back. Mm -hmm. And then his character goes through this thing like, yeah, you know, you're, you're screwed, and he's just gonna wing it to try to get back to her, and then he finds that he can get back to her. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's like, like his whole like mission from start to the very, very end. Um, well, I shouldn't say the very end. The very end was to go save Brand, but his whole mission was just about his his daughter and his son, and it was and it was it's intense in that regard. Um, the science of it is a little. It's cool, like to try to keep up. Um, the concept of trying to find different planets for human life to be able to uh, <clears throat> well, we can. inhabit. That's not like like something new, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. but I think it's a very, you know, it's, it's difficult, you know, and even now I, I know we're like, it's only 2022, but even now, like, how would we transport people even to, you know, five planets away? Hey, well, there's this little spot on Jupiter. Okay, yeah, that's you, gotta, you gotta stand. That's you gotta great. have stops. How do we get anybody there? Pit um, stops. 
So, the, the, you know, the, there were so many cool things about it. I vaguely remembered um, the behind the bookshelf thing, and I think that's what bothered me because I had like I think I was out for some of the stuff, <laughs> and like I'm like, wait, so that didn't make like, any sense. Yeah, because like I didn't catch you didn't like have a frame like, of reference, yeah. you know. And I'm like, what the? F-? You know, I remember I vaguely remember like what is going on here, and I laughed. I'm like, well, that was dumb, you know. And I do recall my girlfriend at the time being like. I think she, uh, I think she liked it. Like, well, you missed a lot. You, know? like, <laughs> you missed an hour and a half yeah, of whatever, it. So, they're floating behind. So the concept that like we have time and space, and I liked how they did the paper thing. Um, and I can't, um, I can't wrap my head around how gravity would impact time. Um, again, uh, look, we're, we're not scientists here, <laughs> we're not, guys. Guys, we're not scientists. guys. We're not scientists here. <laughs> But it's a cool, it's a cool concept, yeah. and I think I'm a little bit more open to it now. Like, okay, if there, you know, we went through a giant wormhole or a black hole, and you're, you know, this three-dimensional view of space and time, and he had to find the exact time when she was in the room, so he's like floating around. Yep. So, I thought the movie was great. I thought it was great from like the science standpoint. Of course, the story of you know Earth becoming inhabitable and um and humans having to look outside for other places to live i think that's an interesting story you know the story about the dad just trying to get back to his family was interesting and you know the daughter never giving up it was like this it was like a pretty awesome story about two people not giving up on each other either the daughter just didn't give up on the dad the dad didn't give up on the daughter and you know things worked out pretty well in the end um, they left us with a little bit of a cliffhanger, as as no one um, tends to do. But uh, I think he was gonna save. Her. You felt yeah. like, yeah, you felt yeah. like good was gonna yeah, come confidence. out of that. So that was it was an unsure ending, but I I think it was a very uh, a very happy ending. Yeah, um, I'm still a little bit confused because I don't understand gravitational pulls <laughs> and its impact <laughs> on the space time continuum. So for that, I'm going to have does. to dock a little oh. bit. <laughs> 495. Well, 495. Just and it's, short it's so, of perfection. It's so ironic that, like, uh, you know, most of the movies that we watch, we it's haven't similar. seen before. Mm-hmm. And we purposely, I think the three of us, in fact, the four of us with Diamond Dave, kindly purposely avoid going to theaters now because, you know, kind of this is what we do. This so is it's, fun. Yeah. It's so wild for me to... You know when I, I like when I hadn't watched the Potter series and I hadn't watched Hunger Games, I was like, yeah, whatever. And also like, oh my god, I love these movies. Mm-hmm. And you were the stingiest guy yeah, ever yeah, about yeah. giving out fives and yes. stuff. And how many movies have we had where Oak is like yeah. five? five. Yeah, I mean so, it's no Shawshank, I mean, but it's yeah, still a five. When we started, I was like, wow, it's so Shawshank. Then all of a sudden, Potter, I'm like. Ah. <laughs> Somebody even made a he's meme. like uh, somebody even made a meme out of me. <laughs> yeah. So That's thank awesome. you for that. But it's um, like he's walking off a Breakfast Club. It's just it's <laughs> the Breakfast Club. Channel. It's just crazy yeah. to me to 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 go back and watch a movie that even though like I, I didn't catch it all, I kind of was like, eh. and even in our group chat text messages, yeah. I'm like, yeah, fuck. I, st- I barely remember it, you know. I know that I was in the theater, so for me to have like that, um, that kind of attitude coming into it and seeing how phenomenal this movie was, it's really, it's a really, it's a really You're cool feeling. It hit, it hit. I will say, it hit. Um, it was a little bit more emotional than I was ready for it 100%. to be because I remember it mm, being about like. Cool. I remember it being their tension because you're trying to find a new place for humans to live, and that's obviously a pretty tall task. But I, I, you know, I, I can't recall um, there ever being this just incredibly uh, powerful emotional thing with a with a dad um, trying mm-hmm. to save his kids, and then when stuff goes south, he's right. just like, okay, how do I get like his? Yep. He never his gave whole, up. He never gave up. His whole thing. Mm-hmm. How do I get back to my kids? Yep. How do I get back to my kids? How do I get back to my kids? Oh, I can't quite get back to him, but maybe I can still. Yeah, he, I can still he never help. accepted the impossible. Yeah, he just yeah. he never gave up, and his daughter never gave up, and I think it was pretty awesome. And uh, I am so happy that I went back and watched this movie because this would have been on my. Yeah, he was this ready. Would have been on he was my, ready to call in sick. He was a PLD on this. <laughs> so on the channel. This was uh, this was this was a phenomenal. So for everybody who recommended Interstellar, thank you, especially from me. <laughs> what like what is wrong with you? Guys, can you get one wrong once? Huh? I don't think Can you're you? gonna. Ugh. 
Well, maybe next time no, you Thor, will. Love and Thunder. Uh, they didn't. Uh, uh, whatever. 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 <laughs> Stop it, you two. So there you have it. You knocked it out of the park once again with another homer, Grand Slam. Use any analogy you want. So for Appleton Oak, that's Mason Quinn, and I am, of course, the answer. Good night, pals. <laughs>